In this video, we will learn how you can automatically create a wallet pass in Pass Creator from Google Sheets. So let's say you run a business and you use Pass Creator for creating and distributing wallet passes for mobile platforms. Now you want every time new row, new details like name or email are added here in Google Sheets. So using these same details, a wallet pass should be created here in Pass Creator. So we are going to automate this entire process using Pavily Connect. Come to my screen to see how we do this. To automatically create a wallet pass using Pass Creator and Google Sheets, let us first go to Pavily's website. You can see the landing page of Pavily. On the top right, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Well, if you sign up free, you will get free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in, Pabbly Connect. On the top right, you will see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name. We will simply write Google Sheets to Pass Creator. Create. Now it will show you two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. So our entire automation process would be based on these two steps, trigger and action. Let us understand this with the help of an example. A trigger can be when a payment is made, an action can be send a confirmation message to the user. In our case, a trigger can be whenever, de whenever details are added in Google Sheets, the action can be Create a wallet pass in Pass Creator. So let us begin and select Google Sheets as our trigger application. For the trigger event, we will select new or updated spreadsheet row. Now let us copy this URL like you can see here. This webhook URL is basically a link that connects to applications. So we are going to copy this URL and follow these steps as to how we have to set up this URL in our Google Sheets. So now I'll take you to my Google Sheets. So this is my sheet here with the name Pass Creator. And these are the details that I want with these details. A path should be created in Pass Creator. Okay. And now on the top, let us go to extensions. In case you don't have Pabbly Connect webhooks installed already like it is here, you can just go to add-ons on top. Then click on get add-ons and here just search for Pabbly Connect webhooks and here you will see and it's, it's already installed here so it's showing installed in your systems it will show add so just click on add button and refresh your Google Sheet and you'll be good to go. So here on top I'll go to extensions come down to Pabbly Connect webhooks and initial setup. So here in the webhook URL, remember the URL that we copied from here. So we are going to paste exactly same URL here. Now for the trigger column, we will take column C that is the email column as our trigger column here. So what will happen is the moment you enter any detail here in column C, that is an email column. So the very moment Pabli will capture the details of the entire row. All right. So now let us just click on send test and you will see test data sent successfully. So let's go to Pabli and check if the response has been received there or not. And you can see here all the response in the Google Sheet has been received. We'll come back to this a minute later. Let us quickly go back to Pass Creator, this Google Sheet Pass Creator here. Again, go to extensions. Again, Pabbly Connect to Webhooks and this time instead of initial setup, we are going to go on send on event. So what will happen is the moment a new row is added here in this Google Sheet, Pabbly will capture the response. So coming back to Pabbly Connect, here this was the response that was captured. First name, that is example, last name, dummy, email, again example at pablytutes.com. I have given such names like example and dummy since this is just for testing purpose. So this means we have in successfully connected our Google Sheets with Pabbly. Now on to our action step. So here we are going to select Pass Creator. 
as our action application. For the action event, we are going to click on create wallet pass as it, as it creates a new wallet pass using the selected template. Okay, connect, add new connection and you will see it needs an API key. So let us read the help text here. Log into Pass Creator account. We are already logged into Pass Creator account as you can see here. Now, it, you, in the left, you will have to go to integrations and then API keys. All right. So let me take you to my Pass Creator. This is my dashboard. Coming to the left, you will see integrations. Let's click there. Scroll a bit down and you will see API key. Okay, click there. Now, here on the top, you will see create new API key. Okay. It will ask you to name the key. So since this is just for testing purpose, I'm going to simply write trials. You can give any other name as well. Let us create. And you will see the API key has been created. On the top, you will see this code, this API key. Just copy it. Come back to Pabli and paste the key. And just save. So you will see it's connected. So now it will show all the templates that I have in my past creator. Since I only have one template, that is the example template. It has just fetched one. In case you have multiple, it will show you in the drop down and you can select from there. Okay. And now it needs a few more details. You can see first name, last name, email address and other details here. So for that, we are going to map it from Google Sheets. You will see the first name here. But before we map in these details, you must be thinking where exactly are we getting these Google Sheets details here from. So for that, I will take you to my step one, where we integrated Google Sheets with Pabli, did a test submission and Pabli captured the response, the details of our Google Sheets. That is all these details were captured by Pabli. So Pabli has brought exactly same response here in the second step, past creator. And that's how we are going to map it. So the first name is example, scroll down, last name, again, we are going to map it from Google Sheets, last name is dummy, now it needs email address. So I'm going to take this email address. And for these details, I'm going to leave them empty as they are not required. Just one more thing before I click on save and send test request, these details mapped in fields like you can see, first name, last name, email address. These mapped in fields from next time will automatically be updated. So what will happen is here in the Google Sheet, when a new response is added, like I showed you when, when we clicked on send on event, right? So whenever a new row is added here, Pabli will capture the response, the row, the row details. And in past creator, these first name, last name, email address, these mapped in fields will automatically pick those new details and you will not have to do it manually. All right. Now let us quickly click on save and send test request. And you will see we have received the response here. You can see. Now let me take you to my past creator account and let's see if a pass was created using these names. Okay, here is my past creator dashboard. Now I'll come to on the left hand side, I'll go to wallet passes, created passes. Okay, so this is the one you can see. The first name is example, the last name is dummy and this is the email address. Like I'll show you here, the first name, example, last name, dummy and the email address. If I click on view button, you will be able to see your pass now this is your pass so that's how we connected our pass creator and google sheets using pabli connect not only this guys you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with the help of pabli connect for any queries you can visit forum.pabli.com our team will definitely answer your queries you can also visit our website on www.pabli.com connect for latest updates, you can also join our Facebook group. Share this video with your friends and help them automate their businesses.